Hey y'all, it's your girl Janika Lachey. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this message before I do. Please go ahead and make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Y'all, this new page, I'll be trying to run it up, run it up, run it up. But listen, y'all, real talk, I had to stop everything I was doing and get on here real quick. Um, it was just only real heavy. Um, I feel this is for a particular young woman that this message is for. And you've been on the fence, you've been thinking about some things, and you want to know if the grass is greener on the other side. So I have to record this video to shed some light on what's trending versus reality of being a stripper, right? And being in that world, in that industry. I am qualified to talk about it because I've been on both sides. I was a dancer um, some years ago. And at the time I was a dancer, I actually had a whole career, a successful career as a banker and a lender. And I found myself at the strip club because of my circumstances, right? I was, um, at the time I was going through a divorce. I was literally staying, I was 24 years old, y'all. So I was staying at my mom's house. I've been moving with my mother with my six-year-old son, and I was sleeping in an extra bedroom on the mattress on the floor at my mama's house. So I was in a real, 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 real bad spot. And I had to get some money quick so I can get me and my son a place and, you know, get us on our feet again, get me a car like I had nothing. When I went through a divorce, it was very um, ugly. And that was my situation. So I'm like, look, I gotta, I gotta get me some money real quick. I was working at the bank, but it wasn't enough because I was trying to get going. And then at the time too, I was like, I wanted to get in real estate. I wanted to get, start my real estate career and become an entrepreneur in the real estate industry. So I was like, you know what? I weighed some different options. I looked at um, getting another job. I was like, I don't have time to trade more uh, hours for dollars. That was not an option for me. I was like, at that time for me, I was like, I wasn't about to start another business because I had done that. And I was like, that wasn't gonna be quick enough. I needed some quick money. And at the time I actually was uh, dancing at, shout out to Enemy Studios in Houston, Texas. I used to go there to dance just for fun because I love dancing. I always danced all my life. I could dance before I could walk. And so I would go there. And so dancing just came to my mind. I was like, you know what? So I kind of did some research on the internet to see, you know, kind of get a little idea what it was like. And um, overall, I had a great experience um, as a dancer. But the reason I'm recording this video is because I have to bring some reality and some balance to the messaging I feel that, that is portrayed. Like, it's like, it is kind of glorified, you know, to get men for their money and have sugar daddies and you know, dancing and stripping. And there's nothing wrong with that, y'all. I did it. I'm like, I get it. I, do, I understand it. I would still do it. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, it's, this is not a video to bash. This is a video to bring light so that you understand what's real. And I'm gonna be the first to tell you that it's not all what it seems, okay? I have not met a stripper that wants to be a stripper. I've not met one that wants to do that. It's literally a means to an end. Like, it's literally you just doing what you gotta do. So, whoever this video is for, it's, it's a particular woman, young woman, you're about 24 years old, and you're just feeling like you're ready to just quit and give up, and you're like, should I do it? I'm just going, yeah, I'm just going to dance. I'm just going to be a dancer. And, that may not be the path for you because I'm gonna tell y'all like, <laughs> listen, it's, 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 it's a dark energy. I'm gonna go ahead and say it like being a stripper, it is a dark energy and it's a dark place. Being in a strip club is a dark place. It is. Um, It's, it's, it's a lot that goes on there. It's, it's, it's very um, heavy. You have, you have women there, women and men, but you have people there 
that's dealing with real life situations like tough tough stuff like y'all if i told y'all some of the things that i seen working at the strip club when i was a dancer i danced for like eight months and i did accomplish my goals by the way i have a successful uh business i've been, been in real estate for seven years and uh my journey has been amazing right but um it's a it's a it's a dark place and everybody's not built for that you have to be built for it to be in that kind of environment and not lose your mind you have to be built for it and really know who you are i mean you got to know who you are going in you have to be very 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 strong-minded going in or that industry will chew you up and spit you out like for real um and that may not be the path for you. So I would encourage you to go back to what was your dreams? What was your goals? What was the, what was the purpose? What was the what's the vision that you have in your heart? And let's align with that. Right? Now for somebody it may be part of their journey, right? And of course, God, he is the master artist. So if you did take that, decide to take that path and, you know, dance, be a stripper or do OnlyFans, whatever, um, of course, God's going to take it and, you know, he's still going to be with you along your journey, right? And use it to teach you, to grow you in, you know, whatever it is that you need, because that's what God does. Um, but it may be a delay. It may be a delay for somebody, for this, for this particular person. Um but y'all, this, this is, listen, having sugar, sugar daddies, right? Being a sugar baby. Yeah, that's a lot to go with that. That the women that's doing it would never admit to you and tell you like, for real. Um, and of course they got to make it look good because they doing it. They doing it. They're in it. So like I said, I, I, I've never met one. Every woman I, I've talked to and I've been and I've worked in strip clubs with, they did it because that's what they had to do. And if you're smart about it, you'll take it and make a better situation for yourself and not be stuck and still find yourself doing the same thing. Um, but y'all, it's, 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 it's so heavy and um, like I feel myself like, because I'm just remembering the stuff that I saw. Like, it's not a game. It's not a game. It's really actually a, a kind of a sad place. Um, because you have so many different energies and spirits there. And people are dealing with real heavy stuff. Real heavy stuff. Like, for real, for real. And, um, like I said, if you're not strong and prepared for it mentally, you can become... A product of your environment because it's around you it's there it's around you it's everywhere drugs you know <laughs> it's there all of it you know opportunity to make more money so you gotta know in life what you're doing and what are you doing it for like if you're gonna be a dancer you have to know why why am i doing this what is my goal what do i want to accomplish out of this not just Going like, oh, you know, I'm gonna make some money. No, no, like go in with an end date in mind. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? What is your purpose? What is your goal? Right? Get in, get out. Like, just don't get caught up in um, the lifestyle, the hype. Be about your money. That saying is so true from the Players Club where Lisa Ray was like, Make your money, but don't let your money make you. Yeah, like, that's real. Because you'll say you went in there to, you know, make some extra money. You're trying to do this or do that. And then next thing you know, you making money just to get drugs. Or, you know, you find you just find yourself in different situations. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep this video as light as possible as I can. Cause it's really, it's really, really heavy. And I, I really felt 
like I had to come on here and record this this message, whoever it's for. Again, I'm not bashing women in the industry. You just have to be strong. You do. You have to be strong because you because you do have so much pulling on you. You are literally giving of yourself. You're showing up. You're giving on yourself, and everyone is feeding off your energy. So you have to be very, very strong to have that protection, if you know what I mean. So I hope this message uh, reaches you. I know it's going to reach you because I was there to come on here and record it. And um, feel free to reach out to me if you wanted to. Comment. Y'all leave a message. Uh, subscribe. Tell me. If you've been a dancer, if you know somebody been a dancer, if you just want to encourage somebody, yeah, we 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 spread love and light on this platform, on this channel, okay? So if you want to leave some encouraging words to your fellow sisters, I would appreciate it. And I love y'all so much. And thank you. Till next time. Bye.